All right, what's going on everyone? Back in another video today. I'm gonna be taking a look at the USW switch aggregation. This is gonna be the new replacement for my 48 port Arista switch. This uses uh, far less heat, um, far less power, way less heat, and um, this will be plenty enough for my main links for right now. Eventually we're gonna move up to a 16 port um, Ubiquiti. I think it's the 16XG switch, so yeah. But for right now, let's go ahead and get into this. So, let's open this up here. I think it's right here. All right. Gives you some nice instructions on what to do here. Some links. Let's see here. I got a box. Looks like we've got our rack mounting hardware, our AC power cable, and the uh, rack inserts for the rack, and then just a manual. So, yeah, put that off to the side. Let's take a look at the actual switch here. Yeah, so this is like super shallow. Yeah, this is mega shallow. Check this out. As you guys can see, it's like a half of what a normal rack mount switch would be. And like a quarter of what a server would be. It's pretty insane. So, let's see here. Nice, nice. This thing's got some good weight to it as well. Let's check that out. Yeah. There are your eight. 10 gigabit SFB plus ports. You've got your little mini display right there. Let's go ahead and peel this off. If I can, I don't have nails. But yeah, very nice quality switch. Very, uh, very nice. It's got some ni nice weight to it, like that. All right, let's see if we can get these uh, rack mounters on real quick. Bolts are in here. I'm not sure where the bolts are for the rack mounters. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they're all in there. It's uh, I'm fairly confident it's these ones right here. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. So this one. Just go here like that. Let's put this up. Bolt these on real quick. I've got a <laughs> uh, overkill drill here, but I'm not going to use that just yet. I'm going to try to use my flat head here. Shouldn't need the screwdriver or the drill just yet. All right, the ears are on both sides. Let's go ahead and get in the rack now. Alright, so here we are at the rack. Uh, if you guys saw the last video, you know about the new server, the R740 that we got. But yeah, here's my SFP Plus links right here. As you can see, it just sprawled out. You should have, let's see, one, two, three, four. We got six right now. So six. This is all we got. Uh, don't really need any more for right now. Um, now in the back of the switch, I do have some direct connections since I don't have a bunch of uh, ports anymore. Like how I have them the Arista, so I do have a couple of direct connections that go from the R740 to the R720XD, which is a uh, iSCSI file server. And uh, But yeah, all the rest of these are either going from my MacBook Pro setup or the R510, and then I do have a couple of going to the R740. Uh, just in case I have to access a file that's on a virtual machine or something like that on the R740 network. So let's go ahead and uh, get this stuff in here. Now, I think they want you to use their own um, cage nuts for the rack, so I'm going to grab those real quick. All right, so I got the cage nuts here. 
see if I can get these in here without too much issues. They're pretty decently nice case nuts. Put the hard one up there for the time being. And let's see here. It's going to go right above the R740, so let's see. What should we do in there like that? Ah, oh, come on. I think we're. I'm gonna move these cables out of the way. So I'm gonna move these and see if I can put this in here without issue. It just rests on top pretty much. Uh, Um, 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 um. Alright, so I've got it in the rack here, as you can see. I had to steal power from my Cisco switch, but uh, I just ran a new power cable for it, so it's good to go. Uh, as you can see, we've got the little display here. Check some of this stuff out here. Nope, nope. Keep that there. And information. And got a, he has a static IP or whatever. Uh, we've got link lights here. Some of the links are down. As you can see. Uptime. Looks like we got some cool stuff here. We got throughput, total throughput. And uh, yeah, I don't have any other um, ubiquity, I guess, uh, devices in my rack. Um, I don't plan on adding anymore. I do plan on staying with Cisco. Uh, the next Cisco device that I get is going to be a, uh, a 3000 series switch. We're going to upgrade from the 2000 series here so we can do some layer 3 stuff. Um, just until I decide whether or not I really want to fully invest in uh, ubiquity stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Not really going to go into depth and set up or anything like that. There's plenty of videos out there. Uh, I'm going to figure this out and then we can start uh, messing around with ESXi on this guy. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.